Action. Hey, hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to the Recreational Sports Heroes channel. I'm Johnny Hustle, your host. Metal Mike's holding the camera today. And today I'm sitting with Kenny Dark. Kenny Dark's going to get into some of his sports moments. I asked him a couple questions. We get a little background and we'll go from there. What's going on, Kenny Everything Dark? Good, How you doing? What's up? What's all right, you all good? right. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> so, uh, what sports you like playing growing up? Basketball. Are you a basketball guy? I'm a basketball man. Okay, so uh, you have any memories, things like that in uh, your past you can remember you well, want to tell us? I got a few memories. All right. 1992. Yeah, 1992, baby. New York Knickerbockers. New York Knicks. Y'all let me down so many times. That's the year that I stopped being a Knickerbockers fan. All is over. All right. Now I'm a Nets fan. No, actually, I am a LeBron fan. So wherever he goes, I go. Really? But, LeBron. Okay. But now that the Nets are in Brooklyn, I'm a Brooklyn Nets fan. Brooklyn when Nets. When it was in New Jersey, I could care less. Right. Anyway. What about Jason Kidd was over there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was, he was, he was good. He was yeah. good. Yeah, he was good. But love Katie. Love Kyrie. Uh, the mess that's going on there right now. They'll get it together, I promise. All right? Okay. By the time this interview comes out, we'll be winning a championship. You hear me? Nets. Nets, Nets. are going to the chip, <laughs> baby. So anyway, so I happen to coach... Uh, basketball for kids between the ages of I'd say eleven to seventeen. So I got a name for your name for you right now. His name is Rich Jackson. Right now he's about fifteen years old. Rich so, Jackson, right, fifteen Rich years Jackson. old. He's fifteen years old right now. He goes to uh, Bishop Lockman High School. Bishop but Lockman. last last summer he was in the eighth grade playing with me. Where's that in Brooklyn? Is that's in Brooklyn? Yeah, okay. Bishop Lockman is downtown Brooklyn, downtown uh, Brooklyn, somewhere by the Brooklyn Hospital. Okay. Yeah, not too far from there. So. Richard Jackson had just joined the team. My team was pretty good. My eighth grade team was pretty good last year. But this kid took us to another level. Actually, two kids took us to another level. Really? Safari, Safari uh, Kennedy took us to it. But Rich Jackson. So this is a high school team now? He's in high school now. But I'm talking oh. about when we were, when he was in the eighth grade in the summer. He just September, he just started ninth grade. Okay, so it's like a summer league? Summer yes, league. Got summer you, league. Got AAU you. program. That's what I have. It's called Team Supreme NYC. Team Supreme, baby. Team Supreme. Follow us. Team Come Supreme on. NYC basketball. Okay? It's an AAU program. So, Rich joined the team. We had a game against a team called New Heights. New Heights. New Heights. The red the red team because they got New Heights blue. They got new, But New Heights red. Okay. So, uh, New Heights is killing us, man. They're they blowing us out. The kids don't know what to do. I, I, Damn. You know, I'm coaching the team. And... Uh, got to call timeout. Yeah, out. exactly. So, you know, we call our timeouts, we regroup, and we had to have been down at least, I'm going to say, about 20 points. 20 points. 20 in, points in, down. At halftime. Down by 20 at the All half. Right, and you so, play four quarters? And we played four quarters. 15-minute quarters? Quarters. Four, eight minute quarters? Eight four eight-minute quarters. Four eight-minute. Okay. So... Uh, we huddle up, we rally the kids up, we talk to them, we run some plays. We tell them, listen, man, we can't lose this game because we're on a winning streak here. If wow. we lose this game... You tell them they can't lose this game and they're down by 20. <laughs> at the half, at the half. So you didn't put no pressure on them, right? <laughs> <laughs> just a little bit, just a little bit. So uh, uh, the other kids were a little bit, uh, it was a little timid. But I'm going to tell you, Rich Jackson. Rich, Rich Jackson. Jackson man, I want to meet this guy. Yeah, you got, I'm, I'm going to bring him here. We're going to get him on a podcast. <laughs> yeah. Oh, absolutely. All right. So... Uh, Rich takes over the game. We talking some Michael Jordan. The kid was he was fourteen at the time. Takes over the game. He's going up and down the court. He's nah. not passing the ball now because you know some Kobe Bryant stuff. You, <laughs> you, you guys don't know what you're doing, so I'm gonna take the game over. It's over. Up and down the court. Boom, ah. score, 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 score. Everybody else gets involved. We play some defense. Now we back in the game. Fourth quarter, Cub. We in the fourth quarter. We back in the game. And everybody's looking for him. Everybody's looking for Rich. Everybody's looking for Rich. Baby. Now we have about. One second left on the clock. One well, second. no, no, no. I'm lying. Let's say about eight seconds left on the clock. Eight seconds on the clock. We call a timeout. Timeout. We design a play. The game, the game is – no, the other team is up by one point. They're up by one with eight seconds left. Right. So all we need is a basket. We don't need a three. Right. Need right. One. We need a two. Two-pointer. Two Four across at the foul line. So now we put Rich to inbound the ball. So he's passing the ball he's inbounds. He's passing the ball inbounds. Oh, so that man. throws everybody off. Yeah. He's the best player on the court. And now Why is he inbounding the ball? We even have his mother on video because his mother's filming it. And his mother says, why do they have Rich film? Why do they have Rich He just scored every point the in the game. And yeah, now you're him in? Come on. I can't take credit for this play. 
I thought you were right. actually. No, I'm not going to take that. <laughs> my, my coach, Eric Wilson, he gets credit for this. Play. Eric so, Wilson. Eric Wilson. So yeah. we inbound four on the inbound, Rich inbounding the ball. So the other coaches on the other side, of course, they like, why they got the best it's setup? Play? It's a setup. It's a setup, baby. Eight seconds left. Rich inbounds the ball, right? Steps inbounds now. He inbounds it to the big man. We have our big man in the front. Right. So he inbounds it right to the big man, steps on the court now. Big man gives it back to him. Get out. As soon as he gets on the court, gives it back right to him. Right back to Rich. One dribble. And Game over. <laughs> yes. <laughs> y'all That's right. my story about Rich Jackson, y'all. Team Supreme NYC Basketball. Wow. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook. We coming at y'all this summer. Get at us. That's Kenny Dark, folks. Kenny Dark. Got anything else that we want to promote? Get out there. Oh, well, you know what? Kenny Dark does yeah. other things well, besides listen, basketball. Yeah, I, I do some other things. You know, I act and I sing. My singer name is Kenny Dark. My actor name is Colin Kilkenny. Oh, baby. <laughs> the, oh, listen, the, the blackest Irishman you ever want to meet, Colin Kilkenny. I'm the only black one, all right? There, there, there are others out there. There might be some other, but I'm the only black one. So when you see the black face, tap on that face, Colin Kilkenny. That's my actor's page. I've done some things. Uh, power. Uh, ABC for Life with 50 Cent. Come I got on. some things coming out I on I saw Netflix. you with someone with Mary, yeah, yeah, Mary, Mary J. Blige. Yeah, the one on Power, yeah. Uh, Mary J. Blige, yeah. you did something with. I got some things coming out on Netflix. I got some things with uh, Woody Harrelson coming out wow. also on, um, that's going to be on HBO Max. Yes. I also. Uh, How do you find time for all this stuff? Uh, listen, I, I don't know, it's man. A I gotta make, yeah, I'm gotta, supposed gotta, to be Johnny Hustle here. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I also sing for a group called The Intruders. If y'all know, a group by the name of the Intruders from back in the days. I'm actually the lead singer. They have a song by the name of uh, I'll Always Love My Mama. Oh, yeah, I remember that song. I always love my mama. She's my favorite girl. You only get one, only get one, yeah. <laughs> wow. Kenny Dog, baby. Kenny, thanks for this interview. Yeah, what no a problem. great interview, brother. Yeah, thanks, man. Appreciate you. <laughs> Metal Mike, anything to say? Beautiful, baby. Beautiful. And as Metal Mike always says, that's our story, and we're sticking to it. Take it easy. Peace out.